The Eastern Mediterranean is hotting up once again. Welcome to another Trove video. Today we'll be giving an area update on the oil and gas activity that's been happening in the Eastern Mediterranean. Specifically, we're going to be looking at some well campaigns and some news on different fields and discoveries for Egypt, Palestine, Israel, Lebanon, Cyprus and Turkey. So starting with Egypt, a lot of activity in the Nile Delta. The recent EGAS bidding round has closed. Six offshore blocks and six onshore blocks were in this round. Now it's our understanding that four areas have been awarded, three in the Mediterranean and one in the Nile Delta. Two areas awarded to ENI, one area to a consortium made up of ENI, BP and Qatar Energy, and one to Zerbig oil. In this video, we're going to be covering BP wells, Shell wells, and ENI wells. However, we're aware of plans that ExxonMobil and Chevron also have to drill. In total, in fact, Egypt is planning 45 exploration wells in the Mediterranean and Nile Delta up until mid 2025. So starting with BP, they operate the major West Nile Delta gas development. And BP have said that they will drill four exploration wells in this area in Q4 of 2023. Two near the Raven gas field and two in the North King Marriott exploration block. And in total, BP and partners plan to invest around 2.7 billion over the next three years in exploration and development in Egypt. Moving now to Shell, BG. Uh, Shell is active offshore Egypt via subsidiary BG International Limited, entering development phase 10 for the West Delta Deep Marine Concession and this contains 17 gas fields. Uh, the screenshot is taken from marine traffic a few days ago showing Steneforth on location for the first of three exploration wells that have been planned. I presume that this is Mina West 1. Just overlaid a, a well agents map showing a location of other wells as well. The result for Oud 1, which spotted last month by Shell in North City Gabura license, uh, the result is not yet public. And then there's uh, another well planned for the North El Fanar concession uh, later on this year. Moving now to ENI context, ENI have a large presence in Egypt, including operating the Zor field. ENI's Petrobel is preparing to drill Orion X1 in the Northeast Happy concession. Well, approximately here. There was a well drilled earlier in 2023 in this block that did not find commercial hydrocarbons. Phase two here is currently evaluating a large zor like structure, so we potentially Orion X1 is targeting this. Nessar 1 was reported as a sub-commercial discovery in June of this year in the North El Hamad offshore block. The target was drilled from onshore, and currently the Maha 1 is drilling on the same block. ENI has highly anticipated the rail well near the Gaza border in the northeast El Amash block, reported unsuccessful in March. IEOC is an ENI subsidiary, and that the rail well is located roughly here. Um, however, in the block just to the south, operated by Chevron, which ENI are a partner with 45%, this uh, Nargis 1 was reported a 3.5 TCF discovery back in January, and more details on that are in our previous update video for the region. We're going to take a quick aside because news just in, as of the 25th of September, which was yesterday, Egypt have announced another license round. This one for predominantly onshore and in the Gulf of Suez and the Red Sea. It's been broken up into four different areas and there's more information on the website. It's so now moving across the border to Palestine. There's uh, a discovery there, Gaza Marine. It's actually two separate accumulations. They were discovered back in 2000 by BG, and they're thought to contain over one TCF of gas. But the project has been on hold ever since discovery, 
due to political tensions in the region. It's back to the forefront following the European energy crisis relating to the Russian war on Ukraine. And the recent effort is also inspired by Israeli-Lebanon relations reaching a maritime agreement and the establishment of the East Med Gas Forum in which Egypt, Israel and Palestine are all members. And here's an image from uh, Israeli Prime Minister where he gave an announcement back in June of the preliminary approval for the development of the Gaza Marine gas fields. If you wanted to find out more details about Gaza Marine, you could look to Trove. Now this is the Trove Eastern Mediterranean database. We're currently looking at the intro page, and it's from here that you navigate to all areas of the Trove. We're interested in going to the data table. And so in the data table, we have a row for every field and discovery in the region that we're looking at. Further to the right, there's geological information. For every field and discovery, you can click on the asset name and it takes you to a tab of unstructured data. And so this is the sources for where all the numbers in the table have come from. But it's also things like maps and cross sections to get a full understanding and picture rather than just numbers in a table. For any entry, you can click and be taken to this tab and find reports and everything that's in the public domain summarized for that asset into um, its montage tab. But we're interested in Gaza Marine, which is uh, the discovery offshore Palestine. Um, and we've just clicked on it and so that we're now in the asset montage tab and you can see different write-ups and information on the field it's in several maps and for each of these articles you can see the source where images below have been taken from and so every data point in the table will be referenced in this tab and a real depth and wealth of information on every asset will be found in Trove. So if you'd like a, a demonstration of how Trove can help you and your company, then please get in touch. Next, we're moving north across the border into Israel. Energian have awarded a feed study with Tetnip FMC for a full field subsea architecture design on Catlan. Catlan area, formerly known as Olympus, is made up of largely discoveries and prospects on block 12. However, it also extends to the west over into the Tannin area. Here we've highlighted in purple what Energian describe as the Catalan area, including Cronus and Belus. That was changed from Olympus to fit with Energian's naming convention. So in Hebrew, Karish to the east means shark and tannin to the west means alligator, and so Catalan now means orca. There's several discoveries in the area, including Zeus and Athena, but in its entirety, including prospective and contingent resource, Catalan is said to have 68 billion cubic meters of gas, or 2.4 TCF. Export is planned via Energian's FPSO on Karish, and then gas exported to Israel via a gas pipeline. It's, uh, also, Karish North is expected to come on production before the end of the year. But for Catalan, a field development plan has been submitted and final investment decision is targeted to be made by the end of 2023. Moving further north once again, and you can see Karish and its pipeline there on the map, um, but we're talking about Lebanon and their prospect Kwana or South Sidon in block 9. And this is now possible to be targeted because of the maritime border deal with Israel and Lebanon. Total Energies has contracted Transocean's Berents semi-sub for the highly anticipated well. And in the most positive scenario, Lebanese oil and gas initiative simulations have said there may be 450 billion cubic meters of gas, or up to 16 TCF. And as of uh, checking this morning, marine traffic, uh, the semi-sub is on location. So hopefully we hear news of that in the not too distant future. Moving slightly west now to offshore Cyprus, talking about their Aphrodite discovery. 
Chevron's field development plan has been rejected for a second time by Cyprus's government. It's worth noting that it's actually amendments to the accepted field development plan back in 2019. Chevron no longer want to include a floating production unit and they want to reduce from five development wells to three, whereas Cyprus's government does want a floating production unit and and wants more wells for more exploitation of the resource. The original discovery well made estimates of 7 TCF gas, but after appraisal this was reduced to 4.2 TCF. There's been a recent third appraisal well completed back in July with positive findings, but no official remark or volumetric update off the back of this. It was meant to be targeting central area of the field, so somewhere approximately there, perhaps. The preferred export route for Chevron is via Egypt, and Chevron's been in discussions with Shell, considering the use of the underutilized West Delta Deep Marine facilities offshore Egypt. Partners in Aphrodite are BG Cypress and Numed Energy. Chevron also operate Leviathan offshore Israel, and this is producing around 0.4 TCF of gas per year. Now moving further north and west to Turkey, a new well is being drilled, Akseki 1, by the new Turkish drill ship Abdul Hamid Han. This is almost two years since the last Turkish oil and gas exploration well in the eastern Mediterranean. That was in waters also contested by Cyprus. This current well is expected to take six months to complete and the vessel is at a fixed location currently, again checking marine traffic. Um, so we've placed this yellow dot and according to this map, the well is drilling within the Turkish EEZ. So in conclusion, exploration activity is at a very high level for the eastern Mediterranean. And this is a response to changing global gas markets. Some of the key news includes progress for Palestine, who potentially may be joining the gas producing countries of the area, and a key well for Lebanon as they seek to find their first offshore gas discovery. There is a huge amount of value in the region, and we've seen some recent progress in terms of the political scene. The maritime border deal, for example, between Israel and Lebanon. However, further resolution of the complex geopolitical tensions is what's needed to allow more developments to come to fruition. Subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you don't miss our next update video for this exciting region. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that interesting. Please hit the like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Hope to see you back on our channel before too long. Bye for now.